Hey guys, Ron from Function Build Aquatics. And today I'm filming the air plant update in the 10 gallon planet tank. Other than the air plant, not a whole lot in this tank has changed. We still have the basic Java moss growing on the base, base of the driftwood. And on the other side, I actually installed some Rickia. So I'm trying to grow Rickia on one side and Java moss on the other and basically keep that fine line and barrier between the two. I just did a water change on this tank and I also did my weekly trimming of the plants. And in this 10 gallon tank with a basic footprint that's kind of small, you have to do a lot of trimming to keep things at scale. This tank gets hit with quite a lot of light from both some of the ambient light from the room and the Kessel Tuna Sun turned about 75% at its power. I also inject this tank with CO2. As we mentioned in prior videos, it started with a dirt, organic soil dirt base. And unfortunately I used gravel to cap it. It was my first planted tank and at the time, I never even dawned on me to use sand. So this tank basically, other than that, is left unchanged from when I filmed it last. And the bromeliad air plant, I'm hoping will eventually get a foothold, have its roots actually grow in, into the driftwood, and maybe in time produce flowers. I'm pretty sure it will with the type of lighting I'm using, but we'll see. So I'm going to let the rest of this video ride out and for you guys to check it out. And if you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and you're watching this for the first time. And once again, this is our 10-gallon planted tank. Ron from Function Build Aquatics. Have a good night, guys.